What's up, PassFit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a total body strength training workout. The only equipment required for today's routine is a pair of dumbbells. And you may want to have a few pairs of dumbbells on hand so you can switch up your resistance as needed. You can follow along with me for the standard moves. And you can follow me for the modifications, which are really important right now because I'm currently pregnant. If you're ready to go, let's get started. All right, let's begin with a warm up. We're going to prepare our bodies for this strength training session. First move is going to specifically focus on our shoulders, kind of compound move here. Let's start with an upright row, feet are shoulder width apart, palms are facing back. So we're going to bring those elbows as high as we can. And then we're going to rotate them, rotation, pull those hands back. And now we're going to reach, reach straight up overhead. Let's reverse it, pull down from those elbows. Hands are gonna come all the way back down and then relax at our side. Let's go back through that sequence. So elbows high, rotate the hands, big reach. At every point in this move, we're gonna make sure we are hitting full range of motion. So you're getting those elbows up as high as you can and then you're pulling those hands back as far as you can and then you're reaching up as high as you can. So we're taking those shoulders through that full range of motion, little dynamic warm up move called an upright row to rotation to reach. Making sure you're breathing, not holding your breath here. Last one for three, two, one, and zero. Excellent, Let those shoulders relax a little bit. Next one's gonna get our heart rate up. Another compound move. We're gonna do a straight leg kick plus arm crossover. Let's start with our arms out at our side. Now I'm gonna bring my left straight leg up as I twist to my left side into that lead leg. And notice for my variation, I'm doing a low kick. So I'm definitely not trying to touch my foot here. I'm just trying to make sure I bring my leg up to the best of my ability with this low kick. So you decide which variation's better for your uh, fitness level, balance level, flexibility level, all those things are gonna play a, a factor. And you might be somewhere in between the two of us. This one's gonna warm up really uh, multiple muscle groups from our chest, shoulders, lower back, hamstrings, glutes, core, all getting loosened up on this rotational movement. Making sure to breathe here, don't hold your breath. We're doing this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right. Next up, we're going to warm up our posterior chains. That's our hamstrings, glutes, and lower back specifically. We're going to do a posterior swing. Let's get those feet a little bit wider and shoulder width apart. Toes are pointed out ever so slightly. Go ahead and interlock those fingers. A little bend in our knees. Now we're going to break at our hips, drive those glutes back, swing our hands between our legs, and then bring those glutes forward. As we stand up big and tall, squeeze our glutes up at the top. So on this one, I'd like to say our arms are just along for the ride. It's all on that hip hinge, driving your butt back and then driving it forward. Breathe in on the way down and exhale on the way up. So just imagine and then there's a wall behind you and you're just trying to hit it with your bum, making this a really hip dominant movement. We don't want to turn this into a squat. Yeah, that's a great point. So we start with that little bend in our knees and then we maintain that same bend throughout. 
keeping your back straight. We don't want you slouching on this and your head stays in line with your spine. All right, let's go. Five more seconds, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, I'm starting Ooh. to feel warm, ready for this workout. How about you, Claudia? I'm ready to get my pump on. Ooh, okay, I it. like that attitude. <laughs> Hope you're ready out there as well. We're getting started with the superset. So we're gonna go back and forth between two different exercises. Our first move is gonna require one dumbbell and we're gonna move to the floor with it. So we are going to perform a single arm leg raise, I'm sorry, leg bridge press. Um, so let's go and take that one dumbbell down to the floor. I'm gonna have it in my right hand, lying down on my back. All right, so keeping your feet close to your, your glutes, I'm gonna do a glute bridge, driving off both heels, and I'm gonna put my opposite arm up. So there's my starting position. You know, you're, now that I'm gonna take it to the next level, I'm gonna bring my left leg up and I'm gonna hold here. And I'm actually just gonna keep both of my legs nice and firmly planted on the ground. Now we're gonna perform eight presses from this position. So you're gonna control the way up and the way down. Now you decide if you want one leg up or you want uh, both feet down on the floor. It's up to you and your fitness level. We're gonna do it together. Ready and begin. So on this one, we're focusing on controlling that weight throughout the move. We're not bouncing our arm off the floor at the bottom. And we're driving off our heels, squeezing our glutes, keeping our back locked in and tight. Two more reps. And excellent. Okay, so now we're gonna switch sides. Same move, opposite side. Now we gotta press on the other side. So if you're doing two feet on the ground, you're gonna get right back into that same position. If you're doing my variation, now we're just gonna switch legs. Ready, begin, eight more. Controlling the way up and the way down. So throughout today's routine, we're gonna encourage you to choose a weight that challenges you. So if this is too hard for you to get to eight reps, lower your weight. If you get to eight and it just feels easy, you need to up or increase your weight. Right here and eight. Excellent. Okay, so let's come on up. When we're gonna need two dumbbells for the next one, we're coming up to our feet. We're gonna do a, an RDL, which stands for Romanian deadlift, for those of you scoring at home, plus row. So it's a two-part move. And anytime we're switching our weight, make sure you're using your legs to do so. Feet are shoulder width apart. This one's gonna really hit our entire posterior chain. <sighs> a little bend in our knees. We're gonna break at our hips, keep our back straight. Those straight arms hang down until they get to about in line with our knees. And now we're gonna row. So it means we're gonna pull back from our elbows return back down and then stand up big and tall. So that counts as one repetition. And we're gonna do eight reps together. Ready and begin. Down, pull back, and then stand up big and tall. Excellent. So maintain that slight bend in our knees throughout the whole move, but we're not turning it into a squat. Controlling the way up and the way down. This one's not a race. You notice we're going at a very controlled tempo here. Breathe in on the way down and exhale as you stand up. Three more repetitions. All right, thank you, Claudia. On this one, we're pulling back from our elbows on that row. So we don't wanna pull back from our hands, we're pulling back from the elbow right there. Last one. Head stays in line with that spine. Squeeze the glutes at the top. All right, nice so work. one time through that superset. So we gotta go one more time through. We're doing two rounds and we just need one dumbbell as we move back to the floor for that single arm leg bridge press. It's such a mouthful on that it one. It is, but... it's a good move. <laughs> All right, so let's come on down, sit down, weight in your hips. And again, I'm gonna do the one leg variation. Feel free to switch it up. If you did mine or Claudia's last time, now you have a little more knowledge. Make sure you're doing the one that's appropriate for you. So my hand, my dumbbells in my right hand, driving off with both heels, left arm straight up in the air, and optional, I'm gonna bring my left foot up. All right, we have eight reps, ready, begin. This one's gonna work multiple muscle groups. That pressing arm is working your tricep, chest, and shoulders. And then this is also working your glutes, abs, lower back, just really overall total body stability just to maintain this position. One more rep right here. And eight, very good. All right, so same move, 
let's switch sides. So go ahead and switch hands and then get the same setup on the opposite side now. Ready and begin. Again, controlling the way up and the way down. Slow and controlled. I didn't know the temptations there, just speed through it, especially because you just want to relax those hips back down on the floor, but don't do it. Here's number seven and one more rep. And last one, hit it. Eight, very good. All right, come on on up. And we have one more set of those RDL plus rows. Using those legs every single time to pick up our dumbbells. So watch me here, sitting back and do a squat. Boom, right there. Not bending over, rounding our... Always a good reminder. <laughs> I know, it's, it's like we focus so much on doing it during the exercise, but then we go to pick up the weights and it totally sometimes leaves our mind. I know. All right, feet are shoulder width apart, a little bend in those knees. We have eight repetitions here. Let's break at those hips together and begin. Again, driving those glutes back behind us, very similar to how we did it in the beginning in the warm up with that posterior swing. This one's gonna work your hamstrings, your glutes, lower back, upper back, biceps, and your forearms and grip all in one move here. We are all about these total body efficiency, efficient workouts, getting as much work in as short a period of time as possible. Focusing on your breathing, keep our back straight, shoulders stay retracted, so that means we're not rounding them. Not much left here. We have one more rep. That's it, last one right here. Make it count. Nice and under control, big power. Pull back and stand up. Excellent work. Our next superset is gonna alternate a lower body and an upper body exercise. First one's gonna be a three, one tempo squat. And we need two dumbbells for this one. So we're gonna perform this squat in a special way. What do you think, Claudia, special? It is a very special very way special. to do a squat. <laughs> <laughs> very special way to burn out your legs. All right, feet are shoulder width apart, dumbbells are relaxed at our side. We're gonna count a three count on the way down. Break at our hips, one, two, three, and then one second on the way up. So it's a three second lowering eccentric phase and then a one, sen one second concentric phase on the way up. Doing eight repetitions, ready and Begin, so you're slow and controlled. Break at those hips. Nice balance and one 1,000 on the way up. There it is. Making sure to keep your balance, driving off your midfoot. You're not coming forward onto your toes. You're not falling back onto your heels, but instead staying nice and balanced. Also don't allow those knees to cave in. Keep them out and strong. This one is working your hamstrings, your glutes, your quadriceps, as well as your grip, uh, just to hold on to those dumbbells, right? Nice, big, deep inhale on the way down, and then exhale on that one second on the way up. This is actually your last rep. <laughs> right here, and there's eight. <laughs> All right, so we are alternating this, like I said, with an upper body exercise next. So I'm actually gonna drop my weight for this upper body movement. You know, uh, we're gonna do a half kneeling shoulder press. So let's go ahead and take those two dumbbells, move down to the floor. And again, you decide if you wanna use the same weight or if you wanna go lighter, it's totally up to you, but we really encourage you to be analyzing each of these moves and figure out what's gonna be the ideal weight for you. So half kneeling position. So I have my left foot up and my right knee back. I'm gonna curl the weights up to a rack position here. And I'm gonna press straight up overhead, half kneeling shoulder press and return back down to those elbows get to a 90 degree angle. We're gonna do this one for eight repetitions. Ready and begin. Again, nice and under control here. This is a strength training routine. So this isn't a race. We're not trying to go fast or keep up high intensity. Nothing wrong with that, but that's not what we're doing here. We're focused on strength and muscle building. Ooh, make sure you keep that core nice and engaged. As you exhale, as you push the weights up over your head. Finishing with those biceps by your ears. And notice I said come down till those elbows are at a 90 degree angle. That's right here and back up. So we don't have to come all the way down. Really no benefit to doing so. And, but there is a little bit of a risk that you might get a little shoulder impingement. So we're not gonna do that. And this is your last rep. And there is number eight. Excellent. 
Okay, so we're coming back up. So that was one time through that superset. If you need to adjust your weight, feel free to do so. Now is the time to do it. Now you have a little better idea what we're doing with that 3-1 tempo dumbbell squat. Again, for eight repetitions. While our shoulders are resting, our legs are gonna work. All right, ready? And begin, breaking at those hips. One, two, three, and one. Excellent. Inhale on the way down, on the three second, and you're gonna exhale as you shoot back up. Every time, don't turn into a race. Excellent work. And this slow tempo really focuses on time under tension, forcing those muscles to work. We're not able to cheat and use momentum or anything like that. Instead, really fo forcing those muscles to contract. Three more. Under control here. Excellent. Last two. Come on. You got it, Astrid Tribe. Like you're sitting back into a chair real nice and slow. And again, the reps are pretty low here, so make sure that you're choosing a weight that is challenging you. And eight. All right, one more Ooh. set of those half kneeling shoulder presses. We are going to switch which knee we have up for this next set. You notice so again, I'm gonna keep my same weight. Claudia's switching hers up. It's up to you to choose a weight that's challenging for you for eight reps. So good posture, core is tight. Let's start by curling those dumbbells up. And we're gonna press them eight times. Begin all the way up, all the way down. A nice full range of motion, fully extending, straight up overhead. Again, keeping the core engaged. This one's working your shoulders, your chest, your triceps, your back, your abs even, to maintain this half kneeling position. Ooh, three more reps. I love it down here because it doesn't allow you to use any momentum or get your legs involved. Starting to feel it. I think it's working. Last one right here. This is the last one right here? Yeah, it was oh. eight. All right, ooh, good. <laughs> nice. That's a nice surprise. <laughs> it was. I thought we had one more. Okay, so we finished up that superset. We're gonna move into a next one. This one is called a tricep because there are three exercises for this one. We are gonna need two dumbbells. I'm actually gonna switch up for a little bit lighter weight. I'm gonna keep my lighter weights here. And we're gonna move into what's called a staggered dumbbell snatch for me. I'm actually gonna be in a neutral uh, stance for this one. So you choose which stance. This is a little, my stance is a little more of a challenge, requires a little more balance and stability. So I'm gonna start with my two dumbbells, my feet are shoulder width apart. I'm gonna actually take my back foot and uh, come up in the ball of the foot and make it in line with that back heel. Again, like Claudia said, she's just keeping that 50 50 neutral stance. So we're gonna hinge at our hips, weight goes back. Head stays in line with that spine. Dumbbells are gonna come down to about knee level. And then we're explosively bringing the elbows as high as we can uh, and bring our glutes forward at the same time. So in real time, real speed, right there. We're doing eight together. Let's begin. Breathe in and exhale, big power. So if Whoa. you notice, mine is almost like the RDL that we did in the very first one except of course we've got the explosive bringing your hips up and those dumbbells up overhead. Yeah, very similar movement pattern, getting those hips, hamstrings, and glutes involved here. You're gonna bring your elbows up as high as they can. When they can't go any further, go ahead and flip those hands over into that snatch. So this is a, a variation of an Olympic lift. It's great for our forearms, our upper back, hamstrings, glutes, lower back. One more rep. Breathe in and exhale. Excellent. <sighs> okay, so we have uh, our next one. We're going to focus on our biceps specifically. I'm going to keep my keep lighter. Keep my weights. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to keep my lighter weight for this one. You might even want to go a little lighter. Again, totally up to you. We're going to do a three-one tempo dumbbell Ooh. curl. So let's start with our dumbbells at our side. Palms are facing up. So we're gonna go one second on the way up, one, 1,000, and then three seconds, one, two, three, on the way down. Repeating that move for eight repetitions. Ready? And begin. One, 1,000, and then slow and control. Keeping our elbows nice and tight to our bodies. And we're going to exhale as we bring them up. 
That's it. Focusing on your breathing. We're not holding our breath. Focusing on that tempo every time, that slow and controlled lowering phase. I really love these too when you find yourself with only maybe one pair of dumbbells. This is a really good way to challenge yourself. Yeah, it's a good, uh, good tip. If you know you're working out and maybe you don't have heavy enough dumbbells for some moves to really be challenging, if you're moving at a slower pace. Um, really quick, lightweight can get, uh, get challenging. Last one right here. Excellent, last one. Fight through it. All right. Nice work. One more move here in our tri set. We're gonna move to the floor and we don't need any weight for that one. So go ahead and set your dumbbells down. I'm gonna do a total body move with a specific focus on our core here. Oh, you're gonna use some weight, but it's called body weight. Body weight, weight. That's, <laughs> that's a great point. It's called the body weight. All right, so moving down to the floor, we're gonna get into a bare plank position. So we're starting by just getting on all fours here. I'm gonna do a bare plank uh, arm and leg extension. And I'm actually gonna do a bare plank leg extension. So this one's gonna be timed. Let's get up into that bare plank position first. So that means I'm gonna be on the balls of my feet and I'm just bringing my knees up off the floor. Everything is nice and Ooh. straight and aligned, which really just right here on its own is a challenge. But now I'm gonna take my right arm and left leg and extend both of them. And notice I'm just gonna extend my leg, kicking straight back and coming back into position. So you decide which variation is more appropriate for you. This one we're doing for 30 seconds, as many as you can in a controlled fashion, not, not a race. race on this one. Yes. Okay, ready and begin. So on this one, we're focusing on keeping our shoulders and hips square to the floor. If you find this position of, of just going back into the leg extension difficult, then just hang out here in a bear plank for 30 seconds. That's a great modification. You do what works for you out there, tribe. Man, this really tears up your quads. It tears up everything. Really shoulders, quick. Shoulders, chest, tricep, lower back, glutes, hamstrings, and of course, those lovely ab muscles. Try to pretend like you're balancing a glass of water on your back. Breathing. Exhale as you kick out, yep. That's it, don't hold your breath. Almost there for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Woo. Oh my. I think those work. I think those are effective. What do you think? I have no words, so yeah. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying them as much as we are. We're gonna move through this tricep one more time from the top. That means we're moving back into that dumbbell snatch with either the staggered stance or the neutral stance. I need two dumbbells for this one. Using my legs. <sighs> A couple deep breaths here. I'm trying to catch my breath. I know. Okay, if you are doing the staggered stance, you wanna make sure that you put your opposite leg back this time. So for me, that means my left leg or left foot is gonna be back. <sighs> we have eight repetitions in total. Ready and begin. Break at those hips. Back is straight, elbows come as high as they can, and then you flip them over. Big power every time. So on this one, this actually is about speed on the way up. You're getting those dumbbells up there as fast as you can. And that speed is where that power is coming from. Specifically, this one's really hitting those traps, that upper back muscle. Two more reps. A lot of functional power and strength in this move. Last one, big power. Excellent. Nice work. Okay, so we're gonna move back into that 3-1 tempo dumbbell curl. Choosing that weight that's appropriate for you, giving you a second here. You get it right, if you need to switch it up, palms are facing forward, elbows are in. Remember, one second on the way up, three on the way down, eight reps, let's do it. One, 1,000, and then one, two, three, again. One, 1,000, and then one, two, three. Excellent, this one's working both bicep heads, as well as your forearms and grip. Make sure to breathe on every repetition. Don't hold your breath. Halfway point right here, that's four. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Good time in the workout here to remind yourself what it is that brought you here today. What is it? What are you working towards? What is that goal? Last rep coming up. Stay focused on the tribe. Here we go, come on, grind through it right here. Let's go, let's go. 
and nice. eight. All right, so we're losing dumbbells for the next one. And we're moving back to the floor. Whew, you gotta psych yourself up for this one. <laughs> you moving really into, do. <laughs> into that bear plank position. Hey, I never told you it would be easy, but it will be worth it. Come on, let's go. Into that bear plank position on all fours here. We've got 30 seconds. You decide which variation is best for you. Up and begin. Again, under control. And you're gonna notice that we're not perfect on this one. No reason for you to be perfect either. Just trying your best. Every time you do this one, getting a little bit better, a little bit stronger. And that is what your fitness journey is all about. Exhale as you kick back. And no shame if you just need to be in the bear plank position. That is difficult enough as it is. That is true. This fitness journey is a long one. It's a lifestyle. It's not a, a short-term goal. But you're in it to win it. So let's That's it. keep focus on that finish line. Almost there, come on. Last few seconds. Three, two, one, and zero. Ah, a nice big breath. <laughs> you made it to the end of those. All right, our next superset is gonna require one dumbbell. Another compound move for you here. We're gonna do a dumbbell pullover. I'm gonna do mine with a knee raise. And I'm actually just gonna keep my legs right on the ground, my feet on the ground. So first thing we need to do is get set up with our dumbbell here. So I'm gonna make like what I like to call a diamond shape with my hands. I'm gonna place that diamond here on the bottom of the dumbbell. And that allows me to grip and hold the dumbbell like so. So let's go ahead and lie back. And I'm gonna start the hands on that diamond shape, the dumbbell here in my chest, and I'm gonna bring my knees up, keep my lower back glued to the floor. And again, I'm gonna have my lower back glued to the floor, but so are my feet. So uh, uh, Claudia's version, I almost called Claudia my daughter's name. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Claudia's version is gonna only work her upper body. Mine is gonna get my abs involved as well. So I'm going to extend my arms and legs at the same time, keeping a slight bend in those elbows, and then bring those arms back while bringing my knees up at the same time. So full, again, I'm getting full extension. Claudia is just focusing on the upper body side of this one. You decide which variation is most appropriate for you. We're gonna do this one for 12 repetitions. Ready and begin. So you're inhaling as you're extending and you're exhaling as you're bringing it in. And again, I'm turning mine into a knee crunch up at the top. So on this one, you wanna make sure that you're controlling that dumbbell. Don't bounce it off the floor. If you can get those arms all the way overhead, great. If you don't quite have that uh, much mobility in your shoulders, just get it to as far as you can do so feeling comfortably. And if you are doing my variation, make sure you keep that lower back glued to the floor. If you feel a big arch in your lower back that you can't control and you can't keep that lower back glued, well, then you probably should be do only doing the upper body part of this move. And that is halfway through this particular exercise. Six more reps. That's it, 12 in total. So that dumbbell pullover is working your triceps, your lats, which are your back muscles under your arms, as well as your chest and shoulders. And then this little extra credit part with my knees coming up is working that core. Three more. Again, another move that we're performing under control here. Again, not a race. It would actually be easier to do it fast. One more repetition. Last one. Finishing strong, Tribe, right here. And 12. Wow. Oh, excellent work. Okay, so we're gonna give those muscle groups a break. Let's go ahead and stand up and we're gonna move to a lower body move next. I'm gonna use two dumbbells for this one. As am I. But you can choose to just use your body weight if that's more appropriate for you. So I'm gonna do a side lunge plus calf raise. I'm gonna do a side squat plus a calf raise. Starting with our hands at our side, feet shoulder width apart. I'm gonna take a big step, big lunge step to my left and then put my weight back in my hips. And I'm just gonna take about a shoulder, uh, shoulder step 
shoulder width step there to my left. There it is. <laughs> and then we're going to do this. And then moving right into a calf raise, coming up onto the balls of the feet. Now let's go to the opposite side. Again, I'm taking that one big step. Taking a step to the right. Back to center, calf raise. So we're doing 12 repetitions. So six big steps to each side. Ready? And begin. You'll notice on my lunge, I'm actually reaching those dumbbells in between my legs. And whichever version you choose, make sure that you're breaking at the hips and then sitting back. You don't want to be coming forward with all your weight leaning over into your back. Keep that foot flat. Making sure to breathe here. This is six right here. It's a total lower body move here. This one's working your calves, hamstrings, quadriceps, glutes, all getting hit. Again, you decide if you feel comfortable with that side lunge or if you'd feel more comfortable with just the side squat. Two more repetitions. All right, last one right here. Big stretch and 12. Ooh, thank goodness. All right, so we're gonna move back into that second set of our dumbbell pullovers. Just one dumbbell needed for this one. One more time through this superset. Let's go ahead and come on down to the floor. And again, we got our hands in that diamond or triangle shape. Grabbing the dumbbell on the bottom. Lying back, starting with that dumbbell at our chest. Again, I'm gonna get my core involved here. So bring my knees in for 12 repetitions and begin. Breathing in as you extend and exhaling as you pull that dumbbell up and over. And again, if you're doing my variation, using your legs and getting your abs involved, make sure you have that lower back glued to the floor. And if you're unable to do so, then I recommend you go ahead and rest those feet down. Or Claudia's got another maybe little modification you can do in between our two. Right in between, if you want a little bit of core action, but not quite as heavy as Coach Kozak's, just bring your legs tabletop. And remember, we still want to focus on keeping that lower back glued to the floor. And that's a great overall tip, you know, for a lot of the exercises that we show. It's not always binary Claudia's version or Coach Kozak's version. A lot of times there's an in-between that might be right for you. That's right. And here's repetition number eight. So you have four more reps. Last four. Keep pushing, Tribe. And we encourage you to make this workout work for you. Yeah, no two bodies are the same and no one knows your body better than you do. That's right. We got two more here, Claudia. This is actually your last oh, pullover last right here. Oh, good. <laughs> and 12. Excellent. Okay, so we're gonna move back into either that side lunge or side squat plus calf raise. Come on back up. If you're using dumbbells, now's the time to pick them up. And again, adjusting your weight appropriately. As you get the hang of it, you get familiar with these moves, you get a better idea of where you need to be in your weight. All right, let's get those legs working here, starting with a step to our left side and begin. Again, if you're doing that side lunge, you go down as far as you feel comfortable doing so while still maintaining strength. And if Same with the squat. Just go to the depth that you feel most comfortable with doing. Pardon me on that <laughs> calf raise there. I know, you gotta remember that calf raise. <laughs> but yeah, if you're doing the squat, either really either move, your goal is to get down until that quad or thigh is parallel to the floor. That's the halfway point. Well, uh, six more. <laughs> I don't know why I find this move particularly hard to remember that calf raise while speaking at the same time. We got a lot of a lot of balls to juggle are up in the air over here. I know you do out, out at home too. We appreciate y'all working with us. Two more. We're all getting stronger together. Let's go. Here's eleven. And let's Ooh. hit it. Number 12, back to home. All calf right, race. Did Don't it. forget that calf race. All right, so let's go ahead and set those dumbbells down. That superset is done. Check it off your list. We are going to finish up with a nice little glute circuit here. <laughs> Gonna set those glutes on fire. Cause hey, who doesn't want to have nice glutes? I mean. I mean, come on. I All mean, right. come on. <laughs> let's go ahead and come down to the floor for the, this little circuit, get it started, get the party started. We're gonna get into a side plank position here. 
we're gonna perform a side plank clam abduction. So let's get started in the side plank. We're on that forearm and I'm gonna come up onto that inside knee. And I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna have my hips down. You notice we both have our top legs stacked. Now I'm gonna open up or abduct my legs, perform that clam and return it back down. Doing this one for 12 repetitions. Ready and begin. I want you to open up, keep those feet together, squeezing the glutes up at the top on this one. Doing our best to keep our hips nice and stacked, and not rotating them. So if you need to keep your hand here, that's okay. Yep, so we're not rotating back, but again, it's all in that hip. Very good. That's seven. And you decide if you wanna perform my variation where I'm actually up on that knee, or if you feel more comfortable with your hip rested down. My variation is definitely a little more of a challenge, but hey, we, neither version is easy here. Definitely not. This is 12 coming up right here. And 12. All right, so we're gonna stay in this position and we're gonna move up into a side plank leg raise. So again, I'm gonna be up on that knee. And I'm gonna stay down here on my leg. And I'm gonna bring that uh, top leg up into a leg raise Woo. and return it back down. Squeezing your glute up at the top for 12 reps. Ready and begin. Like I said, we're gonna set those glutes on fire here, making sure to breathe. If you're doing my variation, you're actually gonna get a little extra core work in, we'll call that extra credit. Halfway. Ooh, I can feel the burner ready. Seven, eight. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> we're feeling it too, tribe. Two more. And 12. All right, so let's go ahead and turn over to our other side. Same move, but now we gotta hit him on the other side. That's right, gotta keep it even. So now I'm on my right forearm. Again, my feet are still together, coming up on that right hip, and I'm going to open my clam for 12 repetitions. Ready, and begin. Nice and controlled. Is it not a race, even though Trust me, just like you, we'd love to just hurry up and get this over with, but <laughs> we want to make sure that we get the results that come along with it, right? And here's the halfway point. Of course, remembering to keep those hips nice and stacked. Do not rotate them. Squeezing that glue up at the top. It's a great one for that medial glue on the outside there. We have three more. Here's 10. 10, 11 and 12. Woo, and then right into those straight legs. Right into that straight leg and begin for 12. Woo, no rest. <laughs> no rest. I know, we feel it too. We're working there right with you. Thousands, maybe millions of people at home feeling that same burn you're feeling. All in together has for tribe. Here's 10, two more. 11 and 12. Excellent, okay. Now we're gonna lie on our backs. We're gonna move into a frog pump. I'm gonna do a frog pump. I'm actually gonna do hip ups. So very similar moves, but my variation requires a little more mo hip mobility. So lying back and put my feet together, opening my legs up, my elbows and triceps around the floor. I'm gonna drive up off my feet, squeeze my glutes at the top. And notice I have my feet nice and flat on the ground. I have my heels towards my butt or my glutes, and I'm just gonna push through my heels. We're doing this one for 30 seconds, so just getting as many as you can in 30 seconds. Ready and begin. Every rep, I want you to focus on squeezing your glutes up at the top, regardless if you're doing my variation or Claudia's variation. Also, another little tip on this one is actually just to go ahead and bring your head up off the floor, looking forward and through your legs. It really can help you from sliding backwards. <laughs> yeah, that's a great tip. So you don't end up sliding all the way across your floor. Exhale as you push through those heels on my variation. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, that was one time through. You know, at the beginning of this, I was like, Claudia, should we do that one or two times? And Sorry. what did you say, Claudia? Sorry. What did you say, Claudia? Plead the fist. She said two times. So, hey, we're doing it again, y'all. Hey, don't blame me, okay? Let's come on over. We're gonna move into those clam abductions. No, but two is the appropriate number. I'm it just is. All right, feet are together. Coming up and begin. 12 repetitions on that clam. Not giving our glutes any break here. A little high volume hypertrophy round at the end. 
Oh, six. Six more. That's it. Come on. Fight through it. You're a fighter, not a quitter. Let's see it right here, tribe. It's 10. Two more. Come on. 11 and 12. Woo, right into those straight legs. That's it. Keeping the pace up now that you got it. One, two. That's it. You've made it this far in the routine. Let's make it to the finish line. That's it. Focus on that finish line and get there. Three more. Two, one, and zero. All right. Switching sides now. Here we go. Same move, opposite side. We're getting closer. Stacking those feet and begin into that clam. One right into the next. Don't hit that pause button. Don't quit now. No, smile through that glue burn if you need to. Fight until the end. Whew. Every repetition is getting you just that much closer to your goal. Right here, come on. There's eight, come on. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. All right, side leg raise. Let's finish strong right here and begin. Come on, think about how good those glutes are gonna feel when we're done with this one. They are on fire right now. Waking those glutes up. They've been hibernating, this is gonna wake them up. All right, we have two more, 11 and, and 12. 12. Ooh, especially with your variation, you get that double burn. Oh, I know, inside <laughs> and top leg. All right, lying back, either frog pump or the hip up. Come on, right to the end. Keep the pace up. I'm doing the frog pump, 30 seconds. And hit it. Driving off those feet. Squeezing the glute. Looking right through your legs. Looking right through. How many can you get in this 30 seconds? You got it, come on. That's it, that's it, that's it. So close to the end, last 15 seconds. You give that nice squeeze at the top, those glutes. Ooh, sitting down in the chair is gonna be fun tomorrow. <laughs> And three, two, one, and yeah, nice work. You made it. All right, nice work, Claudia. Nice work. Hooah. Nice work to you, tribe. Nice work to you out there. We can actually stay down on the floor here. Yes. We're gonna move into our cool down. And the purpose of our cool down is to allow our heart rate to come down nice and slowly. And we also get some added mobility and flexibility work in along the way. Our first move is gonna be a lying one leg hamstring stretch. So let's go ahead and lie down flat on your backs. Try not to fall asleep while you're down here. Let's make <laughs> it through the next few minutes and then you can fall asleep if you'd like. Now I'm gonna bring my right straight leg up as high as I can without bending that knee, return it back down to the floor. Now left straight leg up and return it back down. We're just gonna slowly alternate between right and left legs. Not a race, the work is done. So make sure you're operating at a cool down pace here. Especially after squats and tempo squats. Yeah, all the <laughs> My all legs the are leg feeling work. really heavy right now. And this one's focusing on those hamstrings, calves, glutes, and even a little lower back here. Trying your best to keep that leg straight, even though it would be so much easier if you just like allowed that knee to bend, but then we wouldn't be accomplishing our goal. Setting them down nice and softly. And let's do this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, staying down on our backs, we're gonna move or change our focus to our shoulders and chest. We're gonna move into what's called a floor angel. So let's take our arms straight up overhead with our palms facing the ceiling. And now if you can, relax your arms and hands on the floor. If you can't, and they're kind of like just hovering there, that's okay as well. Just get them as far back as you can. And now we're gonna slowly pull back on the elbows and hands and do what's called a floor angel and then reach straight up overhead as you'll see like on mine we're able to maintain pretty good contact with my hands and elbows well you know what this took a lot of practice so don't feel discouraged if on this one you can't touch your hands or your elbows to the floor just trying your best to do so throughout the whole move 
This one's great for your shoulders, chest, rotator cuffs. Really just an awesome one to help you regain your proper natural upright posture. Moving all the way through full range of motion, all the way down, pulling those elbows down, and then reaching up as high as you can overhead the whole time, fighting to maintain contact or gain contact with the floor. Doing this one for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Ooh. All right, we can go ahead and sit up for the next one. Give our shoulders a little bit of a rest. We're gonna move into what's called a 90-90 hip stretch. So this one's all about that proper setup to get in the right position. Let's start with those legs open, we're on our heels, and our knees are bent at a 90 degree angle. So now I'm gonna take my right leg, and I'm gonna bring my right leg behind me and get that knee at a 90 degree angle. And I'm gonna get my left leg here in front of me also at a 90 degree angle. And I want you rotating your hips the best you can to be in line with that lead leg. Now, if you get to this position, you immediately start to cramp. Claudia, can you show them what to do? Ooh, come on back, okay? <laughs> it's gonna take some pressure. <laughs> put it on the spot there. It's gonna put, take some pressure off of your hips. But if you're feeling good here, you can maintain this upright uh, posture. Or if you want some extra stretch, go ahead and gently lean in to that lead leg. And we're just gonna hold. Again, plenty of tools for you here. You decide which variation is most appropriate for you, but we're keeping both of these knees at a 90 degree angle. That's your key. Big deep breaths here. I'm gonna come forward just a little bit. I'm feeling good. And sometimes I, when I cramp, I kind of find myself coming in between this position and then trying to come back up. Yeah, working your way through it. Taking a breath, coming back. So whatever works best for you. In three, two, one. All right, let's go ahead and return back to that center position. And now we're gonna switch sides. So that left leg or opposite leg is gonna come back behind you. Your forward leg is in front. Again, both at a 90. One side might be tighter than the other. Mm -hmm. So be prepared for that. And again, I'm gonna gently come forward, keeping both knees at a 90 degree angle. This one's gonna work your piriformis, which is a big cause of uh, sciatic nerve pain. It's also gonna help uh, uh, loosen up and uh, improve mobility in your hips, as well as just your glutes and, and glute muscle tightness. So this one's hitting a lot of different muscle groups here. Show on your legs some love after all that work. That's it. I know the restoration work or recovery work isn't it might not be as fun, but man, it's just as important so we can avoid injury and uh, maintain, uh, you know, that progress that we've been making. And three, two, one, come on up. All right, we're gonna move to our feet for our last cool down move. We did a lot of quad work today, quadriceps, it's that big four part muscle in the front. And we're gonna do a standing quad stretch. So for this one, Claudia and I, we're gonna try to show off our balance skills on this one. We'll see. Um, but if you need a chair or a wall, countertop, couch, whatever you have, feel free to grab onto it. So I'm going to grab my right foot with my right hand, same side. And for to help me balance here without anything, I'm going to put my left straight arm up. Just helps me. It's optional. Try your best to keep that knee in close to your side. Don't flare it out. And let's see if we can maintain balance. Again, we don't we don't try to put any illusions out there that we're perfect. We're still working through it just like you are. But it's always good to try to find a focal point to help you maintain your balance. That's it, that's a great tip. If you're looking all over the room, it's gonna be a lot harder. For three, two, one, zero. Excellent. All right, one more and opposite side leg and see if we can maintain that balance. Again, just a static stretch. So we wanna feel a good stretch, but we don't wanna feel pain. Good time of the workout here to just take a moment, be proud of yourself for what you've achieved so far today. We know this is work. That's why it's called a workout, <laughs> not an easy out, but you didn't take the easy out today, did you? You showed up and you put in the work. And if nobody else lets you know how proud of they are, how proud they are of you. I want to make sure that you know how proud we are of you. That's right. Thank you for showing up and working out with us today. And relax. 
That's it. That's it. We made it. We made it. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Thank you so much for working out with us today. We are so grateful that you chose to spend your time with us and humbled, honestly. I don't know if you know this, but did you know you get at least two times better, faster results by following a complete exercise program? You can find those complete exercise programs on our HasFit app, which you can download to download to either your iPhone or your Android, or you can also visit hasfit.com. I know that tongue, uh, tongue, tongue twister. Are twisted here at the end. <laughs> We're out of breath. We're tired just like you are. And if you want to support us, you can also stop by our store, pick up some HasFit gear, like a t-shirt or a hat, whatever, uh, meets suits your fancy. <laughs> <laughs> also, don't forget to like us on your favorite social media channels. Thank you so much for working out with us today. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.